When we put text or labels on a map, we want those text, that text or those labels to really stand out from the map so that it's easy for people to read them, even if there's a lot of variations in patterns or colors on our map, as we see in this map here. And one way that we can do that is around, in this case, our black text, we're putting a little white sort of border or halo around the text. And this simply helps with the legibility of the text and makes it easier for the reader to um, read the text. These um, halos can be white, or in this case here, we're using um, white text. And so in this case, the halos are actually black. And as we can see, the black helps the text to stand out both on the light pink background and also on the red background wherever the um, wherever the buildings are. So it's really the patterns and the, and the strong sharp variations in color here that um, give us concerns with legibility and we have to account for both the light and the dark areas and the way that um, that's done in this case is by putting black halos around white text. This example here shows some really nice and subtle halos. Um, we can see that all of the water bodies, all of the creeks have a, are blue letterings with a light blue halo around them. And all of the um, things that are labeled in a lake have dark blue lettering with a, um, with a whitish color, lighter than the color of the lake around it. Um, all of the roads have a light have a, a very small white halo around them and other places like Clark Summer have that as well. It really helps um, separate the text from all of the patterns and details going on here with the roads. We can't really see, the, it doesn't look like the text is crossing these roads because of that halo effect here. It really makes it look like it's sitting up on top of or popping out into the foreground um, in our visual hierarchy as far as where those texts are occurring on this, are, and labels are occurring on this map. One common place that we use halos is, we, is when we label contours. Contours tell us the elevation of the terrain, and typically they sit right on top of the contour that they're describing. However, the one problem with that is if we do that, then the contour line actually crosses right through the contour label itself, and in some cases, like here, that can make it difficult to read. For example, if we were reading this, we might not know if that's 1,800 or simply 1,000. But if we put a halo around the text, and in this case, a light, lightish yellow halo is used, it, uh, it looks almost invisible in the yellow areas, you can barely see it in the more orange areas, and probably most apparent in the greenish areas here. But now we can clearly see that this uh, contour is labeled as 1,800. Um, but we don't have to have sharp halos. This is an example from QGIS map design where they do include halos, but then they kind of fade out those halos in the background so that only the most, um, only the contrast occurs where it's most needed. So for example, in Hampton here, you can see kind of a green halo around that, but there's part of Newport here, which also has that halo, but it's been faded so that in areas where the background is darker, it doesn't need that halo um, for legibility. And so it's, um, it's faded away. So we can do a lot with halos, but it's just as much as we want to um, play with the contrast. And this is another example here. The, um, the bottom part here shows the text for these planes and, uh, and these two lake labels without any sort of halos. And then here, the halo is nice because it, um, it's not all one color. It's, it shows a variation in color. It just looks like the background was just kind of faded out or blurred out a bit, and then these, um, and then these labels become much more apparent. We can clearly see the, uh, the fading or the, or the, around the C here, and in other cases, it's much more subtle, even as soon as we get to the, um, the A over here. But it really makes it a lot more legible, makes it easier to read, and that's really why we, um, why we would choose to use halos for labels on a map.